All of the people in this video are real patients who became sick with active tuberculosis disease. Their disease could have been prevented with a simple and safe treatment. They all came forward to share their stories with you because they wanted other people to know how to avoid getting sick the way they did. I came to work one day not feeling well. I went to employee health and, you know, she just sent me home for a normal cold. But then like the next day, I started like having night sweats and I thought, okay, maybe it's more serious. At first I thought I was gonna die. I threw up every day. I was depressed, I was losing weight. I mean, I couldn't sleep because if my stomach wasn't hurting, my back was hurting, or I was nauseated all day long. I went to a clinic to do an exam because I felt very weak. My sight was blurred and I felt dizzy too. And there they did some x-rays on me. But if you look at this area of consolidation on the right upper lobe, it appears a, a, a bit darker and, and there's more abnormalities at this point. For about two years, I had a problem with one of my lungs. White would be abnormal, whereas black would be normal. The doctor recommended a bronchoscopy, and I had the procedure done, and sure enough, it was TB. And it's a fast developing disease once you get it. So I became sick very fast. Like, I developed a fever in the morning drenching sweat, uh, I feel my bones hurt, I just feel like horrible, I wanted to lay in bed and not get up. At one point in time I didn't know how I was going to pay my bills the following month because I had been out of work. It just took a toll, I mean my whole family was distressed, my kids, I was worried that my kids might have had it. And then when they told me that I was contagious, I'm thinking my daughter, I was home all day with my daughter and it was like okay is my baby going to get sick? All of these patients had TB disease, a serious illness that kills more than two million people a year, but it can be prevented. A TB skin test or blood test can often detect the TB germ in the body before someone is sick and contagious. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Pat, I'm one of the nurses here. I'm Stephanie. Hi, so you're here for a TB test? Yes, I am. All right. I had the skin test done two years ago, and then it came back positive. If you have a positive skin test, it means that you are in risk to have a tuberculosis disease in the future. They explained to me that it did not necessarily mean that I was going to have TB. It just meant that I was exposed to the bug and from now on it was in my body and eventually I could develop the disease. And there is a safe and simple treatment that can prevent that person from getting sick. If your skin test is positive, take you know, the two or three little pills that they give you and just tough it out. Um, I don't think that you have active tuberculosis, okay? I think you have what we call latent TB infection, okay? I wish they would have told me, listen, you know, it's, this is the important facts why you should be on the preventive and I strongly recommend that you take the medication. If it would have ex been explained to me like that, I would have probably been more compliant and, and did the whole treatment. I took it as, okay, it was only, I think it was like three pills at the time. I took them for like a week, but it made me sick. So I went back to her and I was like, okay, these pills are making me nauseous. I don't want to take them. And she said, oh, okay, don't take them then. It's no, no big deal. So I said, okay, well, then I won't take them. So I stopped taking them. Unfortunately, all of the patients in this video learned the meaning of a positive TB skin test the hard way. None completed the preventive treatment, and all became sick with the disease. Okay, year went by. All of a sudden, I'm positive. And I wish I would have took those three pills then, and then I wouldn't be in the situation I'm in now. If you have a positive TB skin test or blood test, you are at risk for developing TB disease. Certain conditions like HIV, cancer, and diabetes, and certain medications that affect the immune system can increase your risk. You have an opportunity to reduce your risk by taking a safe and effective treatment. You will be followed regularly by a healthcare provider to ensure that you are doing well on the medicine and that you complete the treatment. Okay, good, all right, you can have a seat over here. In review, my doctor says I have latent TB infection. What does this mean? I am healthy. The TB germs are sleeping in my body but could wake up in the future. I have no symptoms. My chest x-ray is normal. I am not contagious. 
I have a positive result on a TB skin test or blood test. What if I have active TB disease? I have a serious illness that could kill me if left untreated. The TB germs have woken up. I may have symptoms, cough, fever, weight loss, night sweats. My chest x-ray may be abnormal. I may be contagious and could infect other people when TB germs are spread through the air when I cough, laugh, or speak. I may have a positive result on tests of my phlegm. If I have latent TB infection, can I reduce my chances of getting sick with active TB disease? Yes, I can prevent tuberculosis. I can take safe, effective medicines. See the doctor in order to have treatment. It is important in order to not have the disease in the future. I wish I would have just went ahead and stuck it out and took the medicine. And I just wish I could go back. I think that it's worth it to take it because you eliminate the risk to develop the sickness in the future. You should definitely finish the treatment to make sure that you totally get rid of this bug from your body because it is a very sneaky bug and it'll lay there and you don't even know it's there and when you least expect it, it can creep out and give you a, a very negative surprise <laughs> like it happened to me. If you have questions about the treatment and your risk, talk to your healthcare provider.